Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lacey Matheson, for those of you that don't know. And today I am so excited to film this video because I received this huge box of fluff mail. It was packed full and I'm just so excited. So I actually found this on a $1 cloth auction site. A girl was wanting to trade for a baby wearing, um, like a ring mm -hmm. or a, you know, an ergo baby or just any type of baby wearing. Um, and, but she was also selling these. So I had a ring sling that I did not use. And so I just asked her if she wanted to trade for my ring sling and she did. So I picked out all the diapers on off of her post that I wanted and we had been messaging back and forth. Um, all that I had to pay for these diapers was shipping. So I paid $7, I paid $7 for all of these diapers and I totaled it up and this is almost $300 worth of diapers and inserts in here, if not more than $300. And then, okay, into the diapers. Guys, I am so excited. Um, as a lot of you know, if you've been watching me for a while, I just started cloth diapering about two and a half months ago and I only, as of right now, have nine diapers. And so I cannot um, cloth diaper full time. So now with this stash, hopefully, we can. I don't see why we couldn't. I believe there's 16 diapers in here, um, something around like 25 inserts, and then a wet bag. So first, and I wrote all these names down um, in my phone, but that's what I'm recording on. So I'm going to try to remember the names of the bum genius off the top of my head. So first, I believe this is Mirror, and I can't tell. There's no way for me to tell other than looking on the Bum Genius website and like color matching the best that I can. So if I am wrong, um, feel free to correct me down below in the comments. Um, but I'm just giving my best educated guess here. So this is a Bum Genius pocket diaper. It's in pretty good shape. You can tell it's been used, but um, there's no significant, there's a little bit of tearing. But I got that. Um, not too much staining. Um, but I'm going to bleach them anyway, so I got that. Then I got the um, Bum Genius Pocket Diaper and Armadillo. Again, pretty good shape. Okay, so I believe these blue ones are Moonbeam. I just went and looked, and my son is just going nuts if you can hear him. So two blue Moonbeams. I got a Ribbit previously, so now I have two Ribbits. And these, a lot of these are retired prints, so I was actually pretty excited about that. And then two of the grasshoppers. Um, let's see. Again, just like shadow staining, but the bleach will get it out. Now I got two of the Bum Genius all-in-one free times. And again, with the colors, I, I think I might have said print with the colors. I just, I can't tell. It's hard for me to tell, especially when there's multiples. So I believe this is jelly. If it's not... Again, feel free to correct me, but that, this was the closest that I got. So we got a jelly, and these are in great shape. The, the elastics look perfect almost. Um, and then there's no stains. So it just has the two little flips. So I got that one. That's pretty cool. I've never had one of these. I do have all-in-ones, but they snap out. So I've never had ones that don't snap out. So I got a jelly. And then this one... I could not tell at all. It's either pepper or sass. It looks red on the camera, but it's like a really like bright orange in person. So, okay, so that's nine Bum Genius that I got. And again, all I paid was shipping on the ring sling to the, the mama. And so nine Bum Genius for free is just ridiculous, but there's more. So then I got two Charlie Bananas, and I have never owned a Charlie Bananas. I'm not too hip on their diapers. Like, I just, I don't know much about them. Um, they look pretty worn to me. They're pretty, they feel, like, really thin. A kawaii baby, and this one looks pretty worn as well. The elastics on it look great, though. Like, they got a lot of boing to it. Um, it's a pocket diaper. It has double gussets. So, super cute. It's got... Like little baby dinosaurs all over it. You can see. And that's a pocket diaper. And then this one. Um, 
I didn't necessarily pick this one out. She had just asked me. She was trying to make it fair, like, price-wise um, for me since my ring thing was so costly and she was selling these diapers for so cheap. She just wanted to make it fair. So she was, like, sending me pictures, like, do you like this? Do you like this? And I'm not a, what is this, a Saints? It's a football diaper for the Saints. I don't even know where the Saints are from. So it's a pocket diaper. And then this is an Alpha and it's um, the dinosaur print. It's really cute. And this is a sun baby diaper and it's Spider-Man. Spider-Man! And it's super cute. My husband even thought this was cute and it's a pocket diaper as well. Okay, so next, I'm super excited about this, is just a big old wet bag. I mean, it's huge. And I don't know... I think she might have said she made this. I can't remember, but it doesn't have, like, any name on it. But it's just a, it's a big, big wet bag. And then, guys, I got, look at all these inserts. <laughs> it's just so many inserts. Um, a lot of them are Bum Genius. Like, this is a Bum Genius. I'm pretty sure all of the Bum Genius came with a Bum Genius insert. So... And I'm not really understanding this, how it snaps, maybe to add more absorbency. I'm not really sure. But there's a, a bunch of Bum Genius ones. Let's see, one, two, five, six. And then some of them, like you could tell the tag had just been worn off or they were cut off maybe. So right here I have seven Bum Genius in my hand. Eight. And then I got a bunch of Charlie Banana ones. They look really small, but they could just be used as boosters, I guess. And then these are the Bum Genius, the flip um, inserts, I believe is what she said. And I got five of these. And then a lot of them, like this one is pretty raggedy. It looks like an old sock that's just been like used too many times. This one is like paper thin. It's a Bum Genius, but it's just like paper thin. This one feels like a dirty dish rag. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then all of these are unbranded. So maybe they came with like the Kawaii and the Sun Baby. All of those. So that is a lot of diapers, guys, that I got for, I mean, free. I got these for free. I paid shipping on them. And like I said, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to get these ready. I'm debating if I want to strip them. I've read that stripping diapers can be really harmful on the diapers and if it's and it should be done as like a last resort. So I probably will just like bleach these and then if need be later strip them. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you an update on the diapers that I received. Um, I'll probably just make this one big video because I haven't posted that yet. Um, so all those diapers that you've seen earlier, it has been, let's see, today's Tuesday and I got those Saturday so it's been a couple of days I've washed them and I've used pretty much all of them that I could and I'm going to talk about it just for a second because I want people to know what to expect when you order off of a cloth diaper auction site or when you buy um, diapers unseen like off of a website that are pre-loved so I have two that are in the wet bag over here that <clears throat> after Luke went to the bathroom like after he peed in it um, they smelt really bad and I and he did poop but it wasn't like his normal poop smell and so kind of like barnyardy so I'm gonna end up having to strip those I didn't want to strip any of these um, just because it's an extra step for me and I'm a little bit lazy I'm just gonna be honest I didn't want to strip any of these but I knew that there was a possibility that I was going to have to so quite a bit of them I'm gonna have to some of them I haven't had any issues with yet um, Pretty much all of these back here I've had no issues with. Two of them are brand new um, and I are perfect condition. But let's just get into it real quick. So this one right here, I kind of just don't really even like like. Um, I'm, I'm not a football fan, I'm not a Saints fan, and it kind of has a weird smell after being bleached twice and um, being washed like four times. It, it just kind of has a weird smell so I may try to sell this at a local boutique I 
I'll get into the cloth diaper auction in just a second. I'm a little irritated with them and I will not be going back on there and I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, these two Charlie Bananas, I'm gonna sell these. I just, they look small. They look like they've been um, pretty worn. Like this is not, I don't, it's a different material than the Bum Genius and I like the Bum Genius. They keep loop dry. They um, literally, like the inserts will be soaked and he is completely dry on the pocket. So if you guys want to see a review, my honest review of the Bum Genius pocket diapers, let me know and I will be happy to do that. But I just have these two Charlie Bananas I'm going to sell. And then these are from two different people on the cloth diaper auction site. And again, I'm irritated. I feel like when you're selling a diaper, you need to be completely honest about the condition of the diaper. Um, now I know that everybody's version of like what condition it, it is in is different, but if you have used, um, non-cloth diaper safe butt paste in a diaper, you know that you're not supposed to do that and you know that that stain is in there. So you, I feel like if you're going to sell this diaper, you need to list that. Like, but there's butt paste stains on there you will need to strip or something to that effect. I bought these two diapers. From the same lady so we've got the armadillo pocket diaper and I'm not really sure I haven't looked at this one but it's like a lime green lime yellow lime green lime yellow lime green like a bright yellow diaper it's really cute but I thought that it was just maybe um, like a poop stain in it but I think that that it needs to be stripped I think it's a mixture of poop and a butt paste because um, when I went to try to sun this out, the water was just like rolling off of the diaper and it should not do that. So this one is terrible. And these diapers literally look like she maybe used them once or twice. They are in excellent use condition other than that. And I only paid $5 for both diapers. I, I had to pay $5 in shipping, so I paid altogether ten dollars for two diapers so I'm not that irritated but I still would have liked to know that way I could have had um, stuff to strip these diapers on hand and I don't and my local boutique sells the Grovia Mighty Bubbles but they're not in yet so I'm gonna have to wait until they get a shipment but this gray diaper this armadillo diaper it you I couldn't even use it literally I thought about just like throwing it away because I'm just Maybe I'm being lazy, maybe I'm being dramatic. I probably am being dramatic. But there's like butt paste all over it. Like, I hope this camera will pick it up. Like literally, I don't know if maybe she just didn't know that you weren't supposed to do that or didn't know that the diaper was like now water resistant, I, I don't know. But so those two, I, ca I can't even use until I get stuff to strip them. And then I talked to the lady from the boutique and she said that it may not even work depending on how long the butt paste has been sitting. That the Mighty Bubbles will help but it may not completely fix the problem. So irritated about that. Got another diaper from another lady and um, actually no this this one was in the, um, the big lot. The stain, I cannot get the stain out, and it doesn't look like it's butt paste, but it just is like totally shot. But it's the water would not even soak in it. Um, and the stain, I've sunned this twice and bleached it twice, and it just it I think it's just on its last leg. Uh, other than that, the diaper is in good condition though, so I'm a, I'm a little irritated about that. But I'm gonna strip those diapers, sell the other diapers, and so that is my update for the diapers. Okay, so I forgot that I said I was gonna talk about how I feel about the cloth diaper auction sites, and I'm just honestly not gonna go back on there. I feel like it's caused me more like drama than anything. Um, I feel like each diaper that I purchased from there was lied about I mean now I have to remind myself that I'm buying these diapers at such a low cost in my case I don't ever go higher than depending on the diaper eight dollars um, if there is a stain I won't go higher than five and if it looks to me on the picture like it's in pretty good condition no stain and I like the print 
I will go up to like eight. But again, these are sight unseen diapers. I mean, you're not, you don't have the diaper in your hand. You can't smell anything. You can't see really anything. And it could be, you know, they could be lying. And so every diaper that I've purchased has either been told that there was not a stain and then there was, or that they were in excellent use condition or perfect condition and then I get the diaper and that's not the case. I've also had moms be rude to me on there, um, like be like snikey or like what's the word, like, um, I don't know, just rude, like, okay, I ran out of storage. So I've just had moms be like rude to me on there, like um, I had one mom, I was in a dispute with PayPal over a different issue um, where I, a lady had given me the wrong PayPal and I sent money, blah, blah, blah. And so I just asked her and I explained to her what was going on. And I said, first of all, if you're a seller or a buyer, you have 24 hours to invoice or accept the invoice. And it had only been four hours. So I still had 20 hours left to even give her my PayPal. And I asked her, I just kind of told her what was going on. And I said, could you invoice me later? It should be um, done the, the dispute should be over with by tonight. And she was like, I'd rather you pay right now. And if I would have like said, never mind, I don't want the diaper or something like that, she could have reported me to the group and I would have been kicked out. So I, w I was just like, okay, LOL, invoice me. And so sh she invoiced me, I paid her right away, and then she waited four days to ship. So I'm like, you wanted me to pay right away, but yet, you want me to wait for my shipping for four days and so um, today was the fourth day I messaged her this morning and I said hey have you shipped yet if so can I get a tracking number because normally if they do it through your PayPal you'll get an email but sometimes they can just like do it on their own and so she waited a long time shipped it I got an email and then she goes um, your tr your tracking number is in PayPal so she was just rude another lady was rude and so I've had nothing but bad experience on the cloth diaper auction. Um, I, that's not always the case. Sometimes you just, you know, get a bad draw or whatever. But so just be cautious. Um, try to have communication with the seller. Try to be um, as communicative as possible if you're the, um, if you are the seller with your buyer, um, and just try to be honest because people are spending their money on this and you know a lot of people don't just have money to throw away and the diapers that they're buying they really do need and they do intend to use and they don't have any other access to diapers and this is it and so if you're false advertising falsely advertising the diaper then this mom is going to get it and be disappointed or be out that money and so i'm just i won't be purchasing on there again i would rather go and buy a brand new diaper and spend the extra money to avoid the drama and um, a potential bad diaper. So I hope that this gave you guys some help and some insight and maybe you'll be more cautious and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you.